In this video, we'll learn how to preview and trim clips in Premiere Pro's Source Monitor. This is a fundamental step in just about any workflow in Premiere Pro, and it lets us take longer media files, such as video or audio, and isolate just the parts that we're interested in using. So I've got a project here in Premiere Pro, and I've imported one audio file into my project panel. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the icon for that media file to bring it up in my source monitor. Now I see a waveform of that audio in the source monitor, showing me the volume of the clip over time. If I were working with a video file instead, I'd see the image associated with the first frame of the video clip. If I wanna switch what I see in the source monitor, I can just right click and switch my display mode between composite video, waveform, alpha, or multi-camera. Since this is an audio file, I only have that waveform option. From here, I can play back the file and look for parts of it that I'm interested in either exporting or using in a sequence. So I'll go ahead and click the play button here. And I can tell just by listening and looking at the waveform that I've got several different bird calls going on in my audio track. And the part that I think I'm most interested in is this right here, the loudest part with the goose call. So I'd like to separate that part of my audio file from the rest of the clip. And I can tag which sections of the clip that I'm interested in by setting an in point and an out point. So I'll move my playhead to the starting point that I'd like. And I can do that either by clicking and dragging on the current time indicator above the time ruler, or just by clicking and dragging anywhere over that waveform. Then I'll click the mark in icon down at the bottom of the source monitor. So that sets the beginning of the part of the clip that I'm interested in using. Now I'll click and drag the current time indicator to the end of the part that I'm interested in and click mark out. So now I can see the rest of my clip is grayed out and it's just the parts between the in point and the out point that are highlighted. If I need to make changes, I can adjust existing in or out points just by clicking and dragging them. I can also right click to either clear the in point, the out point, or both. To get a preview of just the portion of my clip that sits between the in and out points, I can hold Option or Alt on the keyboard while tapping the K key. This plays back just the part of the clip that I want. So that's looking pretty good. And at this point, I could either export this part of the clip or I could bring it into a sequence for editing in combination with other clips, effects, and transitions. Those are steps we'll cover in other videos. But for now, that's an overview of how to preview and trim clips in Premiere Pro's Source Monitor.